What up, this your boy Boss. Welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through, kicking with your boy, man, and just checking out the videos because you know the grind don't stop. And we is back with another video for you guys, man. So today's video, as you read by the title and thumbnail, we are going to be setting up a 500 gallon outdoor pool pond. The weather is getting good in the Midwest. I'm outside with it right now. It just feels really good. I'm in the shade though, because it's kind of hot in the sun. I ain't gonna cap. It's like 90 degrees today, but we outside with it, man. We got to get out the fish room, get outside and start doing some summer tubbing, start doing some pond start doing some stuff outside i got a lot of projects i'm trying to work on outside so you guys are gonna be getting a lot of outdoor videos coming here soon but today we are setting up this 500 gallon pool pond super bright on this side of my house but yeah we finna set this 500 gallon pool pond up i already got the water in it but today we're gonna be setting up filtration we're gonna be talking about what we're gonna be doing with this thing so let me show you guys the pond because it's looking good all right so this is our 500 gallon outdoor pool pond this thing is looking good look at the water just so crystal clear it's so hot outside today i'm ready to get in here but i've had this pond for probably about six months now i didn't set it up i was going to originally set it up indoors but i decided just to wait to the summer time to set it up outside for fish we are going to be setting up the filtration for we're going to be using this 55 gallon barrel to run filtration on this pond today but first before we set the filtration up we got to test this out and make sure that the water is good can't put no fish in it unless you know the water good so let me do that so these is my two oldest boys right here they the ones that keep me busy outside of youtube but i'm gonna let them test the pool because it's the only way that they can test it <laughs> <laughs> is it good is it good hey hold on hold on hold on is it ready for fish oh yeah <laughs> God, this is pretty sick in here. <laughs> yeah you wasn't ready for that huh <laughs> so yeah y'all i think it's ready for fish so now we're gonna uh set the filtration up and get this thing going y'all have fun <laughs> so now the kids and tested the pool and it's ready for fish we're gonna start setting up the filtration i'm gonna be using this 55 gallon barrel like i said to filter this pond we're gonna be using some gravel at the bottom and it's going to rise up through some filter floss and sponges it's going to exit back out into the pond it's pretty much be biological and mechanical filtration on this um i got this bucket full of gravel i need to clean this real quick and then we're going to add that in here and then that's going to be the first step so let me clean this So we got our gravel clean and into the bucket. I just got a real small amount in there, just enough to when the water comes in, it can rise up through this gravel. The rest of this is going to be filled with filter floss and established sponges that I had in my aquariums. That way we can jumpstart this pond and get fish in right away because I'm ready to get fish in here right now. So the next step is to finish adding all our filter floss and our sponges in here. And then we pretty much can turn this thing going and watch water move. So stay tuned. We got all our filter media into the bucket. It's looking good, ready to go. I'm gonna give you guys one of my secrets that I've been using for years, man. If you wanna get some free filter floss and you got an old pillow laying around your house somewhere, cut that pillow open and take the floss out of that. I've been using this for my whole fish keeping career. You can put them inside of hang on the back, your canister filters, your barrels, anything like that. It's a good way to save money without having to go out and buy some new filter floss. Even though it's cheap anyway, this is free because it's already in the house and it's an old pillow that you wanna get rid of anyway. So that's what we got in here, filter floss from the pillows. We got our sponges and everything is ready to go. So now it's time to hook up the pump that's gonna run this filtration. We'll be using this 2,600 gallon per hour pump. That's gonna be a lot of water movement. I can't wait to see it, but that's the next step. for the hook up the plumbing, get everything going, and then we can turn this thing on. So stay tuned. We got our plumbing hooked up and we got our filtration running, man. Look at all that water movement we got right now. So much water movement. You can see we got good water surface agitation, good flow in here. So we is ready for some fish. Show you guys what the inside of the filtration look like. As you see, we moving water inside of here. I added this bucket over the outtake. You can see how this thing is just moving water. Look how clear this water is coming out of here. 
the next step now is we need to figure out what we're going to put into this pond thinking about putting in some game fish doing some dope fishing videos and catching some bass and different native fish to my area or you guys can leave some suggestions down below what else you think we should do so i think i want to do a lot of plants in here so i'm thinking maybe like some pond lilies or a lot of hornwort a lot of different plants in here so you guys can let me know we're going to bring this pond to life and it's looking good look at all that water movement next step is to get some bacteria into this pond put some dechlorinator and get this thing ready for fish and let me know did we take a w on this one because you know we just take nothing but w's around here man so before i get up out of here got to give you guys an update on the thousand gallon pond you can see all the fishes out and about there's our new giant grommy that we recently picked up you can see he is out and about swimming eating beautiful grommy see pinky coming out just a beautiful fish look at that bass but the pond is doing great can't complain I spend so much time down here just hanging out with the fish and just enjoying them but while we down here in the fish room I always give you guys an update on the tank that we set up in yesterday's video as you see this thing is crystal clear the plants are filled in looking good everybody is standing up strong you can see that course screw valve back here even this rotalia starting to get some color back to it everything is doing great now it's time to get some fish i've seen all you guys suggestions of what fish we should get it for here so we definitely gonna be picking up some fish for this aquarium very soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for these videos because it's gonna be a dope little planet tank man but that's gonna be pretty much it for today's content just wanted to give you guys a little update on the pond while we set up the new 500 gallon outdoor pond Look at that bass, got a mouthful. I was just feeding him some shrimp before he came. He can't even close his mouth. But all the fish down here are doing great, man. I'll catch you guys in my next video. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you got subscribed to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop more videos. I'm out of here. Look at these Oscars. Breathe.